Today's video is sponsored by Surfshark VPN. Hello everybody, welcome to the weekly reading vlog. I don't know why I decided I needed to do, do what I just did there, but hi. Um, so, yes, let's address the elephant in the room. There is a lawnmower <laughs> going on outside and it's been going for quite some time. And I just, I gotta film this now. So uh, we're just gonna have a little lawn care ASMR and that's just how it's gonna be. But uh, yeah, welcome, 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 welcome to the weekly reading vlog. So this week I do as I do. I'm gonna start out telling you about some books and then I'm gonna end up finishing books that I hadn't told you a thing about. If it wasn't that, it wouldn't be a vlog by me. I mean, that's just kind of the case. Uh, aside from that, we also celebrated my dad's birthday and went out to dinner, so that was really fun. I saw two movies, I saw The Invitation and I saw The Woman King, which both were fantastic, obviously. The Woman King was like way better, but The Invitation should be a dark romance. I'll fight for that. What else did we do? Oh, I am about to actually go film right now the organization clips of that bookshelf in the bedroom and I will show you guys that so that'll be at the end of the video if you want to see that as well. And then also I finished I'm glad your mom died. Glad my mom died. But I am glad her mom died too. So we'll get to that in a little bit but for now let's get into the sponsor of today's video and then the vlog hello everybody so thank you so much to surfshark vpn for sponsoring today's video surfshark vpn keeps your online identity safe by encrypting all of the information sent between your phone any devices and the internet this works to keep your personal data protected from big companies or cyber criminals. A VPN encrypts your personal data and works to keep it safe when you are utilizing free public Wi-Fi, which I did not realize but can be like a total goldmine for hackers. And while they are working to protect you, Surfshark VPN does not monitor, store, or track what you do online. So in a nutshell, what this means is protection, but there are going to be no connection or activity logs. A really cool, great feature of Surfshark VPN is that it gives you the ability to change your IP address and essentially travel the world. Surfshark has 3,200 servers in 65 countries. This allows you to access and unblock content libraries and streaming services from all over the world. Like, think Netflix. So I can change my VPN server IP address to be in the UK versus over here in the US, which then lets me watch all of my favorite UK shows, which you already know. Majority of my favorite shows are of the UK variety, so this is something that I've definitely been using and I am absolutely in love with doing. And on top of it all, Surfshark offers a 30-day money-back guarantee, so there is literally no risk in trying it out. And you can use code Olivia to get 83% off plus three extra months. Totally for free. As always, links in the code will be in the description down below. And thank you once again to Surfshark VPN for sponsoring today's video. And let's get back into the vlog. Hello everybody, it is Tuesday and uh, I'm coming at you a hot mess and I know it because I'm having a, it's not like a flare up day, I don't know what you would call it, I'm just having not a great day. Um, I am like so dizzy for some reason so I've just been chugging water. I had a little bit of coffee this morning, not a lot at all, and then I chugged a bunch of water and um yeah i'm just gonna keep doing that that's the plan and hang out with ginger i'm catching up on real housewives of atlanta so that's what i'm doing today also hi welcome to the vlog okay so now let's discuss so i have decided to do two different ones because i am also managing a horror 
book selection right now for a project that I'm doing. So I have a bunch of those books that I'm currently reading and I wanted to balance it out with two things that are totally different in these vlogs for you guys. So the first one is Her Majesty's Royal Coven. This is like making this <laughs> light so bad. So I'll just put a picture on screen. But it's Her Majesty's Royal Coven and this is the Fairy Loot Edition and it's absolutely gorgeous. I do want to show the sprayed edges in this in case you didn't see it in last week's vlog, but I'm really excited. This is just about a coven that is for the queen, I'm assuming. And, you know, I'm very excited about that prospect. I love on the cover, it says, this is one government department you don't want to mess with. I think that's so funny. So what I've read so far is just the prologue, and that was basically just going over... A summer solstice before all of the girls were turned into witches and now we're diving into the like actual thick of it the current plot line and I loved it because it starts out with this let's see if you can see it yeah there you go this newsletter from the high priestess of the coven and it says hello and thank you for expressing an interest in her majesty's royal coven this is our online home on the darker web tm i thought that was so cute i love books that are like this where it's kind of i don't know it's it's witchy it's magical it's underground kind of but it's in real life and it takes place in our world and it incorporates like our world and stuff i don't know it's just so cool so I like that. And then I'm also reading on my Kindle this book called The Blind Side. This is a sports romance. It's football, I think college football. And it is about a girl who is the media manager for the team. And one of the players, he just got dumped. And she, I don't think, has ever dated. And so they're doing a fake dating situation. Um, on her part to try to get this other guy jealous and want to date her. And then on his part to get his girlfriend back. Obviously they're gonna fall in love. So, I'm already liking it. It's dual POV, which is my preferred for romance. I am learning. Especially romance KU style. I'll say, I don't really need it as much when it comes to the traditionally published romance I read. Because I tend to lean more towards traditionally published romance that could fall into the cursed chiclet category because I like it when it deals with life and family and stuff like that. So it doesn't tend to really need dual POV because the love interest is only like a plot point in the book. It's not like the overarching plot. But for KU, I definitely prefer dual. Um, I just door dashed Panera, which I have... I've... <laughs> This is so lame. I've only ever door dashed one thing. And I'm using door dash like, okay, you know how Southerners say, do you want a Coke? And then it's like, what kind of Coke do you want? And you say Dr. Pepper. Because Coke is the synonym for soda down here. Um, it is. Sorry if you didn't know. When I say door dash, I mean any kind of delivery app. Because I don't know what the other one was that I used. Maybe it was like Uber? No, because it's Eats. I don't even know. It was one of them. And I got paint by numbers delivered <laughs> from michael because i did not want to go into the michaels by us because it's being renovated and it's a mess and i didn't know if they'd even have anything and then they did they had all the paint by numbers but they were in the back and so i was gonna have to like ask them to go in the back anyways and i didn't want to be annoying so i did the delivery one and it was great turned out great i was paranoid they weren't gonna find us but they did and it was fine and so now i've done food for the first time We'll see how that goes. I got mac and cheese because it's all that sounds good right now. And I got a Pepsi because I have a little bit of a headache. So we're gonna get a, just a little nudge of caffeine in there to try to get that away. And then I've already got my um, water supply <laughs> in my giant Stanley tumbler ready to go. And if you're ever curious what it looks like on a bad health day, here it is. It's honestly just, I hate the feeling of being dizzy. I hate it so much. It's just such a, like a, I mean, my therapist would drag me and say, it's because you're out of control. <laughs> funny, but not funny, haha. -ha. Funny, rude, God, but it's true. So let me show you the sleepy girl right next to me. She's on Jake's bed and she's barely keeping it awake. She decided to sleep right on that corner. 
And she's like falling asleep standing up. So we're going to get back to watching Real Housewives and eating. Right, Bean? Yes. That is a good plan. The best plan. Oh, he's settling in. He has his spooky boy blanket. That's his. It was mine, but he coped it. I think that's what it's like to have kids, right? Um, this is dangerous. This isn't good for me to know. I shouldn't have this knowledge. I don't need to know that I can just get this food delivered right to my door. And Panera has no delivery fees right now. That's not good. This is gonna be a this is gonna this is gonna be a week of Panera. Happy Wednesday! I promise there will come a day where I'm not updating in this little corner, uh, but it's not, mm, mm, not today. So, how's it going? How are we all doing? Let's talk. Um, I feel like I have not, have I even started this vlog? Have I even updated this vlog? Questions that need answers. I think that I, I don't know. I don't know what I've done, but I did get like 30% into this book, which is Blindside. Y'all, I'm into it. This is so cute. I like the way it's written. I don't feel like it's cringy or weird or anything like that. I feel like a lot of the times romances can be very cringe. This is not the case. I'm very into it. It's really good. Um, I also did put on my first set of fall nails and then my thumb is the same as this ring finger, so... Yes, got those on, got my spooky merch on. I am doing great. I got a coffee and this little ghost sleeve is with me because I am doing work today. So I have been trying to go to Starbucks less, which is working out because I figured out how to make good coffee at home. Imagine that. I do need to order some more. Um, I use the Nespresso machine and I love their pods, but I feel like I always run out of them so fast because I really like their coffee. Like when I make it, man, it's good. But um, anywho, literally has nothing to do with anything. What I need to do is set up my planner. Um, yeah, I know it's already Wednesday, but that's fine. Ooh, allegedly I'm gonna do a lot of editing today. Don't know if that's true. Also, sorry, there's a candle right underneath you if you can hear that. But I do need to film two things for the channel. So I'm going to go do that, I suppose. And then I'm going to keep reading more of the blind side. So I'll let you know more about that when I have thoughts and feelings. I'm also working on today mainly what I'm going to work on until my partner gets home from work. That's usually when I stop like editing and doing anything other than like fun reading. I'll probably start reading this again around the time that they get home from work, but until then I'm gonna keep working on this other vlog because I finished a book for it the other day and it was so freaking good and now I'm reading the next book for it and I'm already really liking it and I'm like is this my sign that I need to do more themed reading vlogs because I thought that I wouldn't be good at them slash thought that I would hate doing them but I don't. Like, I'm so freaking into it. So, anywho, I'm going to go film what I got to film and then edit it and then keep watching the Real Housewives of Atlanta reunion. And I might go... We bought a bunch of groceries yesterday. I bought a bunch of fruit because I'm trying to be better about eating fruit. Um, so, I'm probably going to grab one of the... Um, I got these vegan, gluten-free, plant-based protein shakes. So I might grab one of those and then some fruit for lunch. I'll show you though. 
because we also need to go back to Trader Joe's because they have these shakes. It's like almond milk chai or so. I, I don't even know, but they're so freaking good and I need to get more. We haven't been in so freaking long, so hopefully we'll go maybe Friday morning if I can swing it. For sure, I'm going to show you the shakes that we got last night because they're so good and I like them so much. My therapist recommended them to me because she is gluten-free and let me tell you Eating less gluten has made my tummy a happier situation however, I simply can't give up bread, but Other than that Doing pretty good. Although I am being forced because my partner is gluten-free and vegan so and I don't cook so I just clean <laughs> That's what I bring to the house yeah, I'm going to go ahead and get started on everything, and I will check in with you guys later when I have a bit of an update for you. Does that sound good? All right. Perfect. For some reason, there's a bed in our living room. I don't know if I've told you. Welcome. Um, for some reason, I have the TikTok sound. We cannot escape. We cannot come out. <laughs> Mama <laughs> stuck in my head, and I almost opened this clip by literally saying that. Am I okay? No, I'll answer. So I'm gonna make some... <sighs> okay, listen, listen, listen. Oh my God. I look like a ghost. Jesus. That's scary. Spooky ooky, babes. Um, anyways, I'm going to make a commitment right now with y'all. We are gonna read to 256, page 256, in my like i don't want to call it a secret tbr because girl it's not a secret it's on goodreads but the book that i'm reading for that vlog that i'm not talking about in this one and then i'm going to freaking get at least five chapters in to oh, my hair's my face her majesty's royal coven because i need witches in my life okay i just do so i have the remote of power aka the conch if you get that reference very slay. But I had lip gloss on and I just kissed that. <laughs> I'm going to put on some good vibe book videos while I go make up some water bottles with liquid IV. I think we're going to do an acai berry. Sounds quite nice, doesn't it? It does. It does. I'll tell you, it freaking does. So we're going to do that. I put my candle on so she's going. Ginger's here with us. Jake is freaking ready the ice makers she's a Bruin so we're gonna read gosh darn it what what time is it oh my god why is my arm tired I should work out, I'll work out. uh it's 12 47 watch me do the math watch me do the math watch me do the math we have four and a half hours until my partner calls because they always call on the way home and then we have about I'd say 45 minutes because um, I-35 in Texas is literally the road to hell. So that road will be fun. Probably I-20, she might be involved. I don't know. I mean, I have a very specific way I like to go that literally I think that they go the opposite way to spite me. But that's just me. Um, I'm a big turnpike girl. So anyways, I'm going to make these waters. We're going to read these books. I'm going to find a good lighting angle so that I'm not like, this right here looks like heaven's gates. Not the cult. <laughs> like literally heaven. But why, tell me why like that is a color match for my face. I don't know, like this, every time I try new lighting in the house, I just realize how white I am. Let me not walk closer to the ice maker. Oh, these books. This is my panko shelf. So I'll also have to slowly work through those, but I'm not really in an audiobook mood. I'm in a physical book mood. And I, I'm in a physical like series mood. And I fully blame Miss Haley Pham because I'm watching her Akatar vlog right now. And I want to reread Akatar so bad. Y'all, I didn't even like that series that much. <laughs> Silver Flames was my favorite in the series. Akatar was probably one of my favorites too. Don't come for me. Sarah didn't know what she was trying to do in the rest of those books, and you can't change my mind. But anyways, I'm gonna watch that, and then Larry freaking Reads has a new video up, and so does Riley Marie, and so does Reagan, and honestly, am I gonna get any reading done? I don't know, but we're gonna try together. So let's, 
Let's freaking try. Okay, really quick actually, before we dive in, I did just wanna talk about my feelings about the blind side a little bit more. So I, I just love Kindle Unlimited Romance <laughs> so freaking much. I think that it is so underrated. It's so much better than like literally every freaking romance book I try to read from the Barnes and Noble. And I just, I need more. Honestly, this isn't even me talking about my feelings about this book. This is me in a cry for help. <laughs> if you know any more books that are like this, please reach out to a person in need. It's me, I'm the person in need and give them recommendations, please for this book because I just need more like this. It's the fake dating trope is so fun. This is reading like a romantic comedy movie would. And that's something that I've had is a common theme so far in September is that most of my books are reading like movies. And I, y'all seriously, like my biggest pastime aside from reading is going to the movies, not hello, ma'am. Not like the movies itself. I don't really care what movie we're saying. Like some of them I'm excited for. Like tomorrow, is it tomorrow? Is today Wednesday? Yes. So tomorrow I'm going to see The Woman King because freaking Viola Davis. Okay, that's all I need to say. I'm going with my partner and my mom and I'm very excited. And like, that's a movie I'm excited for. I'm excited for Marvel movies because I'm basic. I'm excited for literally anything Star Wars, even though the last trilogy was awful and it's a safe space for people to acknowledge the truth on this channel it was bad the first one was good and then the directors were like playing games and being petty with each other and it ruined the entire trilogy but whatever i love going to the movies i don't really care what the movie is aside from the ones i said i was excited for also horror movies not scary movies in particular although like the conjuring love that i really do mean like horror movies where we're like talking about things <sighs> the last one that i saw the last movie that i saw in theaters where i was like dang was nope nope I think might be my favorite Peel movie. It was just so freaking good. The freaking end scene with him on the horse. <gasps> okay, anyways, that's it. So my favorite hobby basically is to go to the movies because I love to get Sour Patch, watermelon, not the kids, no, um, popcorn, with butter i never was a butter girl like my family looked at the butter like as if but then i started dating my partner and let me tell you never met a more butter girl and i am now a butter girl as well and i love it it is the definition of living laughing and loving it truly is i used to think that it was literally melted butter um i worked at a movie theater i wasn't i don't know why i thought that i literally knew that wasn't the truth but whatever uh and then just getting your like little drink amc is the best i have that subscription thing for monthly where you can basically go see three movies every single week when i tell you i'll just go see a movie i'll just go see one like i'll just text and be like hey do you want to go see this movie what is it about? No idea, but I'll get us popcorn. We'll get points for it. Eventually we'll get free popcorn and I never get turned down because who doesn't like going to see movies? I, I just don't care what it is. Oh, I should probably mention, so Barbarian? No, no, it was weird. Um, I liked that it wasn't as typical. I didn't like that Bill was not involved as much as I wanted him involved. I was trying to look at Bill for two hours on the screen and that did not happen for me. So that's kind of rude. Um, that movie, it was a lot. I feel like it is, if I told you what happened, you wouldn't believe me. I wouldn't believe me. My mom liked it, <laughs> which I think is so funny. Um, and I agree, like her reasons for liking it, I agreed, cause it's, it's different. It's not like other movies. It, didn't go the same route you would think it would. The way that the director, you know, decided to tell a story was interesting and intriguing and it didn't do it in like a, oh my God, I found this document and look what happened in the past. 
like they actually went to the past and showed you what happened but still it was just a lot it was just not what i was thinking was gonna happen my favorite scene though is when they go down into that little basement thingamabob and um let's just say one of them hits the wall okay they just they hit a wall repeatedly in their life and it's just the movie's about self-discovery there you go <laughs> somehow and then the invitation was much better i really liked the invitation because i really just wanted it to turn into a romance but whatever and now we're here so I, i'm gonna see three movies this week this is what i'm saying is like this is all i do <laughs> spiral in my anxiety watch movies and read books yeah that's it well and go to the doctor but like that's not fun no one's talking about that so I think that's all I was talking about. I just, man, I love these weekly vlogs because I just want to talk to y'all about stuff. So if you've seen those movies, if there's any movies you have seen, let me know. Again, recommendations, please. I'm reaching out and in a time of need. I need more recommendations like this book. And then I also just want to say how excited I am to read this one. <laughs> like I just keep saying that. I need to go read the 300 pages, like I said, of that other book. No, 256. That is, rounding that up to 300 is very, mm, we're not gonna do that, but. Man, I set up this whole spot for myself, and let me show you, Jake just said, mm, thanks, Mom. Look at that. Oh, and the yawn? Wow. Look, post it up, my phone is underneath him, the pillow and everything. I guess I'll just be in this corner right here, but Jacob, <gasps> you're gonna ignore me now? Did y'all see that side eye? Jake. Come on, man. Anyways, okay, I'm gonna actually go read. I'm gonna stop rambling. I'm sorry, but I'm not sorry. We all know how these weekly vlogs go. So, let's go do it. All right, hello. So, I made it 50 pages into the book that I was saying I need to read for another vlog. I'm loving it. I have my mystery piano rain ambiance eight hours dark academia and mysteries studying sleeping ambiance <laughs> going on that's the whole title i read you the whole title if you want to look it up it's on elemental soundworks channel i just love having the thunder and rain with um classical music with it it's just like the perfect combination for me and for reading and for the ambiance of this book but i feel like i need a snack because i'm getting kind of hungry but i don't really feel like making anything so i'm gonna get one of those shakes i was telling y'all about and we're gonna go on an adventure all the way to my fridge and i'll tell you about the shake that i was already telling you about how about that what about that it's a long walk all the way over here guys sayer these are the ones, this is my brand that I really like. <gasps> is that a bug? So this is the brand that I really like. Um, I think I'm going to do one of these. I also got these though, where they're like smoothies already made. And I have another one back here, but I'm, I'm literally using this to prop up this <laughs> snack. Ah, inventive. But yeah, we're going to go with this guy. This is one of my absolute favorite and I like it because it's low sugar and there's no soy. My stomach does not cooperate with soy, so this is good stuff, good soup. Okay, hello, hi, how are you? So I don't have my camera, obviously, that's why I'm filming on this. Um, happy Thursday. Just got done doing some sprints and I wanted to go run an errand really quick and it was close to this pottery barn outlet that is near us well it's really not near us anymore we moved like kind of far away from it but i was like let's just make the trip so we're gonna go in and see if they have any fall stuff because i refuse to pay full price for pottery barn gonna be real honest with you but it's like 40 percent off here at minimum and i'm like hello great so we're gonna go inside check and i'm also gonna look for a chair for my office because i really want a reading chair and I love the chair that we bought from them a while ago, and I would love another one, but I will love to not pay full price. <laughs> so that's why I'm here. We're gonna go check together. I just had another coffee and a croissant. So honestly, I'm fueled and I'm ready. 
to go do this. So let's go do this. Okay, the air is running because I love myself, but we got a chair. We got a chair. We secured it. I'll show you when I get home. I gotta go now, though. It's so hot! Okay. Hello. So Jake and I are back home. Well, he's been home. He held down the fort. I got home. And let me tell you, <laughs> I'm so shocked that I found this freaking chair. Um, especially for the price that it was. There was, a, like, a, another sale on top of the sale. And apparently it's, like got a little bit of a stain on the back of the chair and it's got a dent on the wood Pfft, it made it 70% off I was like literally it was cheaper than the one I was looking at on Wayfair so I'm very excited to reveal the chair so this is her so I'm putting it up against the fantasy shelves which means that they're are gonna be two that are covered. So I'm gonna switch some of the books around so that they're books that I've already read that are covered, so it doesn't really matter. But yeah, there it is in all its glory. It's definitely, I don't know if you can tell, but it's like a seat and a half almost. A little bit less, like a seat and a quarter. But I love it. I'm in love with it. And then I got this blanket as well that I just took out of the thing. Freaking, man. This place doesn't always have good stuff, but when it does, it is good. So I'm going to decorate it for fall really quick. Obviously, you'll see. And then Jake and I are going to get back into some reading. What do you think, bud? Yeah. So I do want to quickly talk about just like home, which I'll put up there, because I did get about 60% into it while I was driving home. And let me tell you, half the time I was like, I like this book. I have a feeling I know where it's going and I'm not even upset at that. I think maybe I'm just so excited because I literally never guess plot twists. But if there is a plot twist, I cannot guess it for the life of me. So I just think this is really interesting. It's very spooky. The at night scenes are creepy. The flashback scenes are very tense and intense. So I don't know. I'm really enjoying this book. I'm really liking the audiobook version of it too. So I guess I would probably recommend that one. I got it in from my library and I did not think I was going to get this far into it this quickly, but it's been like a day, maybe two days, and I'm already almost done with it. So I'm going to continue listening to that, set up this chair. I'll show you the chair set up. And uh, yeah, that's, that's the plan. But it's hard to see. There it is. I love it. This pumpkin is, they do have one at Pottery Barn, but I got a dupe for it online because what the heck, I'm not about to pay $80 for it. So I will link that down below in case you want one because they're so cute and they have different colors, but it's, it's not worth $80. I'm just saying. If Pottery Barn is listening, spread the word. But yes, this is beautiful. Oh my God. Okay, hello lovies. How you doing babes? I'm just looking at myself because I've got makeup on. Sorry. Um, it's Saturday. It's my dad's birthday. So we're popping over to Dallas. Closer to, you know, it, oh, it's downtown Dallas. But good for the B-roll, so I'll keep you in mind. But uh, we're heading over there. That's why she's put together. She has rings on, necklace, earrings. Not sponsored by Anna Luisa, but my whole outfit pretty much is them. And then, you know, gotta look. I have shorts on, but we're not throwing legs up today. So, anyways, um, I finished a book. 
I finished I'm glad my mom died and um I had to skip some parts <laughs> because the eating disorder representation was a little too good um felt like it was there literally so uh, yeah I don't rate nonfiction, but this was you know fascinating it makes me even more want to know uh what happened like I, I just feel like there needs to be a bit expose of everything that happened and then those are who were compliant in it as well I mean bring them down you know but uh I want to know Amanda Bynes I still think about her all the time like daily I just so it's sad um but yeah I this was very good very much check the tr trigger warnings though because they're there full full force um I do recommend it though if you enjoy memoirs and you grew up with Jeanette McCarty on your screen like I did it was very good um and then aside from that I've just been reading some horror books for this other vlog but I am today going to be starting The Luminaries by Susan Denard I just got this arc my camera's about to die so if it cuts out we tried we were there we were there together for as long as we could be um this is I think set in modern times but it's something about a magical forest or it's an evil forest and there's people with magic powers and there's witches involved and I don't know sounds like everything I like I like Susan Denard's writing I love Truth Witch that series is so freaking good I need to reread the first three so I can catch up with the series but whew, that series is so good uh, other than that I don't really have a whole lot of updates for you but tomorrow we have a date for a haul so I'll probably go for now I did all I did today was uh finish editing my unhaul video which is up so if you want to check it out you should because oh my god it's like 45 minutes of me just ruthlessly tearing through this library and honestly satisfying highly recommend unhauling it's good for your soul and your bank account well not really because then you want to haul more books but still it's good um but yeah I'm gonna head over to Dallas now pip pip <laughs> what and I will talk to you guys probably tomorrow with like a little haul because we got some mail in and yeah that's it see you later babes let's go let's go to the let's go <laughs> Hi, so this vlog is really just the vlog of this sweater. I do swear to you, I change the shirt underneath every day. It's just this house is so diddly darn cold, and I want a sweater, and I'm like. I look good in green. What am I supposed to do? Not wear it? So every clip, I'm in my corner wearing my sweater. And that's just what it is. But I did find my tripod, so. Not to brag, but like, I think I'm kind of on track with my life again. So anyways, I'm going to use that because I have to go film the bookshelf thing, which we're going to end this video on the bookshelf organization. Just, you know, some good music. Putting the books on the shelf. You know that thing on TikTok where people are like, I don't hate the way that that wave happens because, listen, when I go like this, she's waving too. So I understand it. I get it. But I have some things to show you. Really, it's just two things. Um, but I got them in the mail and I want to show you them. How about that? But before I do that, I should update you on the reading because we're closing it out. And uh, I got 70% into Just Like Home. So that will be finished up next week and you'll see my reaction, feelings, thoughts, opinions there. And then I also, I, mean, I really spent the majority of this week reading for my other reading vlog, which is fine because I mean, it needs to go up on Sunday. So I have to do that. But um, that one, then what else? That the, the romance, the sports, go sports. 
blindsided? Am I just wanting to think of Sandra Bullock <laughs> blindsided? I don't know. Whatever. The sports romance, still working on that one. Hopefully we'll finish it next week. I got in a murder mood though and no one was being murdered in that book surprisingly so. Maybe I need to go back to my mafia romances. But anyways, that's where the reading's at and I did already update that I finished. I'm glad my mom died. So it was, it was a week of reading, and it was, I finished three books. I just can't tell you about them here, but just believe me, okay? Now, let's talk about the stuff for Weekend Ween. So, the book sleeve and the book cozy bookmark thing are going to be available October 1st. I would make sure to follow Happy Go Lovely Sleeves on Instagram. That's Miss Rachel doing the thing. Um, she'll update you there. She's doing a hundred of these bookmarks and then there will be a hundred of these big old sleeves and these, this pattern is so freaking cute. Like, are you kidding me? I kind of want to use it right now. So listen, sneak peek on the book that I'm reading for Sunday's video. Oh, I guess I could use also this bookmark that just came in from Alicia who is making so this is her name bookmarks by Alicia and then this is the bookmark for monster mash it has the prompts down there cute 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 to boot um but anyways now this is a well actually no this is not a weekend wing book yeah my brain cares I don't know it's mental illness babes it's been this is why this vlog is short also, by the way, is because it's been a weekend. Um, my OCD decided to like become a problem again. The, the TikTok sound, is it me? Am I the drama? Is literally my OCD. And then my anxiety is like, oh my God, I don't know, am I? So if you ever wondered what it's like to be in therapy with me, that's it. I'm literally reenacting my mental illness with TikTok sounds. And then having to explain the trend. It's great. But anyways, this sleeve, very cute. Very cute. So that's what I got for you there. Now we're going to go to the bedroom to organize the books. <laughs> and I'm listening to the podcast that I want to tell you about. Just, um, oh Lord, not the family group chat going off. Anyways, I'm listening to this podcast someplace underneath it is on the last podcast network it's very good this one's all about um the parasocial relationships slash dynamics that are created via family channels on youtube which i used to watch like i watched the original family vloggers which were like john and kate plus eight so high school me is screaming and not in a fun way because i'm like oh what? I thought they got to go on fun vacations. They actually are just in therapy now. They're just like me. <laughs> Anyways, I'm going to keep listening to that while we go organize my bookshelves. And uh, thank you for watching this far. The emoji is going to be some fall leaves. Because why not? They're always here. Or the green heart, because this is always here too. But Aside from that, let's go organize those books and I will catch you in the comments down below and in my next video. But this isn't goodbye. It's goodbye for me. But the video will go on. <laughs>
birds and see the sun Side by side our fears are done All the good times just begun Oh, we know what we have, let's hold on tight Found what we're looking for in life Call us crazy, but things are finally right Side by side and through and 